My name is Ruth Carter, and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona, and I'm also the owner of Carter Law Firm in Phoenix. And today I want to talk about maintaining your corporate veil. So I work with a fair amount of new businesses, and the first thing we talk about is the importance of creating a business entity. Now this is usually an LLC or a corporation, and what it does is, is it protects the individuals. So in the event that the business gets sued, the only the business assets are on the line if they lose. Uh, the individual owners, you know, homes, cars, kids, dogs, possessions, etc., um, are protected. That is, if you maintain your corporate veil. So, how does that work? Basically, what it requires is that you keep your money separate, keep your personal money and the business money completely separate. It's like Ghostbusters, the streams shall not cross. Um, so that means that the business needs to have its own bank accounts, its own credit cards, and you, the individual, need to have your own bank accounts, credit cards, etc. And you can't, you shouldn't use the business accounts to pay for your personal needs like, you know, groceries, your mortgage, whatever. And you shouldn't use your personal accounts to pay for business expenses. Um, if you do that, the risk you run if you get sued and lose is that the other side can make the argument that the business entity really isn't real. It's just an alter ego for you, the person. And so there's no difference between when the business ends and you begin. And so they can go after the business assets, but also your home, your car, your dog, your stuff. So which is the whole purpose of having the business entity in the first place. So all I have to say about that is if you have a business, make sure you keep your money separate, make the business pay for the business expenses, make your personal accounts pay for your personal expenses. Don't cross the streams. So if you have any questions about this topic, please consult your accountant or a business attorney in your community. And I will catch up with you later. Take care.